channel of the new special proud to be from Pittsburgh. Our next news is at 4.30 a.m. Have a great night. Unsung heroes. I've always wanted to play football, but yet my disabilities never let me. Here you go, Dustin. Finally being honored. He's been great to be around. He's out here smiling, having fun every day. Their works building bridges. This is bird heaven. Building a better Pittsburgh. He just had never been loved. And every farm animal, every domesticated pet, they all deserve that. Inspiring. How are you doing? Dedicated and committed. We'd like to rock you in love. Our word is like short. Do you? Oh, wonderful. And making us proud to be from Pittsburgh. Good evening and thanks for joining us for this Channel 11 News Special. I'm Peggy Finnegan. So often in our newsroom we hear, you only cover the bad news, bring us something positive. Well, we heard you and responded. Proud to be from Pittsburgh highlights people and organizations that do so much for our great city. In the next 15 minutes you'll be introduced to some of those that we've met along our journey. We start on the football field at Carnegie Mellon University. Brock Kidder loves football, but he can't play because of a disability. Enter the CMU Tartans. Together, they gave us one of our most memorable stories. Brock Kitterman has game. And at nine years old, he's the youngest member of the Carnegie Mellon University football team. Amazing. It's really neat to be hanging out with all these football players. The Bethel Park fourth grader signed a letter of intent last spring and is there at practice. Water. Hanging out with teammates and as one of this year's team captains, he's on the field on game day for the coin toss. I never imagined and I've always wanted to play football, but yet my disabilities never let me. At 12 weeks old, Brock was diagnosed with a rare eye cancer. He's now legally blind and the chemo therapy damaged his hearing as well. Brock was paired with CMU by Team Impact. It's an organization that matches kids facing life-threatening or chronic illness with college athletic teams to improve their quality of life through the power of a team. Because of his physical challenges, Brock has never been allowed to actually play on a football team, but these guys on the Tartans make sure he feels like he is part of this team. He's been great to be around. He's out here smiling, having fun every day. Dustin uh, Schneider is one of the team captains. Here you go, Dustin. Thanks, buddy. Everybody, you know, understands where he comes from, um, understands what he's been through, and really appreciates the fact that he can just enjoy being out here, you know, kicking, throwing a ball around for a few hours every day. Brock's parents say the experience has made a difference. It's really opened him up a lot. He's come out a little bit more. He's not quite so introverted. And, and Tartan's coach, Rich Lackner, says Brock is not the only one benefiting. I think it's very important as well for our kids to interact with Brock, see the challenges that he's facing every day day uh, and it, it makes their challenges seem that much less touchdown tartans you make us proud to be from pittsburgh and michael carroll didn't let cancer slow him down this team came up with a way to help every kid battling the disease michael created